Hey franchise listeners, it's Madison Morris here in Chesapeake Energy Arena where the Thunder just picked up their eighth straight win over Philadelphia at a 122 to 112 final. After four ties, seven lead changes in the first half alone, Philadelphia was able to maintain control of the third quarter until the last three minutes when Paul George and the Thunder pushed forward and never once saw a lead change after that. Joel Embiid led the way for the 76ers at 27 points, 10 rebounds and two assists. Ben Simmons right behind him with 22 points, four rebounds and seven assists of his own. Philadelphia turned the ball over 17 times tonight, snapped a two game winning streak picked up their second loss to the Thunder this season and picked up their 22nd loss overall. Listen here to hear what coach Brett Brown and Philadelphia players had to say about the loss to the Thunder tonight. I mean, you come into this building and you know with the roster that they have that you're going to be in for a fist fight. They, they are a big team. They're a physical team. And, you know, you roll out three gold medalists and all-stars, and you sort of have Steven Adams at the center of it all. Um, and, you know, it's just you know you're in for a long night. They've won eight in a row for a reason, and uh, the physicality of the game against men really stands out when you come into this gym. Well, we had a good start, kind of like a way start, and then it was good, and then it was kind of like it was up and down, and, uh, and then in the fourth quarter, that end of the third quarter, they kind of took over, they went up 10, and then we got back, and then uh, in that middle of the fourth quarter, they went up 10 again, and from there, it was just hard, and uh, we couldn't really go uh, the sense that they were running, uh, but, uh, you know, we... Uh, I think, I think we played well until um, uh, almost the end of the third quarter. Mm-hmm. And from there, we just started making mistakes, turning the ball over, uh, not being patient. Uh, we weren't we wasn't making the ball defensively. We weren't we weren't the best defensive team. We weren't that. So, uh, so, and then uh, Paul Jones had a great game for this. Um, what do you think it is about this matchup between you and the Thunder that these games are so high energy, so high intensity in these matchups? There's so many, there's so many athletes, uh, you know, um, Paul George, you know, Carl Memo, Jeremy Grant, uh, you know, that team, you got Ben, you got Justin, you got all these guys that are so athletic, so there was, there was a lot of dogs in there. Uh, uh, so he just, uh, no, it's, just, it's just a show. It's, just, it's fun to watch. It's fun to be in. Uh, but uh, I, hope, uh, I wish we could have had a win. Uh, but it's a game that I found. Then it, just seemed, it was a pretty good game. And then all of a sudden, it just seemed late in the third quarter. Um, guy, I think you put them up by five. And then after that, the guys missed like two shots five turnovers, then all of a sudden you guys battled back, and then it seems like missed shots again and a bunch of turnovers. Yeah, it's one of those games where we made runs, they made runs. Uh, the down stretch, they made bigger plays. Uh, we didn't take care of the ball um, and execute. Ben, why do you think these uh, two matchups against the Thunder this series have been so high energy, high intensity? You know, you got one Olympian, well, three Olympians, three, pretty much three All-Stars, honestly. I mean, they're, they're All-Stars. But um, it's tough to play against them. You have three guys who can score. Um, in isolation plays, and, and Adams, who's such a big and uh, great you know, center for them. Um, and they're a good team, but uh, it just came down to making the right plays. Is it one of those things like you focus on, okay, I'm going to focus on Westbrook, and the next thing I'm leaving George open, you know what I mean? Then all of a sudden we focus yeah, it's, on it's Mello. Yeah, it's just tough. Um, but we're getting there, we're getting better. Uh, we're a young team, but uh, you know, we, we got a lot of promise, and, um, and I think we're close. When a team is as athletic as the Thunder are, how is that an advantage for you guys? Because you guys play with the fat, fast pace, and how is that also a challenge for you? Uh, you just got to come over and make the right plays. Uh, defensively, you just got to know what we need to do, um, especially when Westbrook has the ball. Um, you you got to pull the gym over. But, you know, it's one of those games where it's, it's tough because you might be guarding Paul George. So, you know, if you come over, help too much, you know, Paul's op- uh, open. So, it's tough. Joel had a really big game, but... Adams seemed to make it tough on him. How tough is he to play? Really tough. He's strong, uh, physical. Um, uh, he's a great defender. And then offensively, you know, he gets to the rim. So he's a great, great player. What do you see is the biggest difference between the Thunder when you played him before and the Thunder tonight? Um, so we played pretty well overall, but just, 
It's just players. There's certain players that just want to win the game. That will do it here from Chesapeake Energy Arena. The 76ers will head to Milwaukee to face the Bucks tomorrow night. They fall to 24 and 22 in the season and 12 and 12 on the road. Be sure to stay up to date on all NBA news and Thunder coverage by following us on social media and checking out thefranchiseok.com.